Okay, so here are the jeans that I got from the thrift store a couple years back. I've only worn them about once or twice, I don't remember. And I'm really interested in cutting these up. Okay, sweet. So, let me zoom out. So now, now this is the part where, <clears throat> this is the part where the measuring tape comes in. You are going to want to go three inches up. This is how long the fringe is going to be. So now I'm going to make a straight line across because yes so do this do mind myself again you it'll be way better if you have um, a white pencil something bright so you can see it I can see my line oh you guys can see my line as well you're going to be doing this across to this to both of the jeans Flip it over, mark the back as well. I'm really, really big on the 70s. I love the 70s. My mom was born in the 70s. I love the retro happiness that the 70s had. It's just super cool. Um, 70s frenzy, let me see. All right, so the next process is once you have your inches, you're going to start cutting. Whatever this line's called, cut it. Okay, so just begin the process. Okay, so here is the finished process to cutting and sizing it. Looks super duper really cute. I'm so excited to see how these are gonna look. I already know what they're gonna look like. I'm just ready to be a cool hippie. So anyways, I the next step is my washer. Throw it in there, close it. I'm gonna put some detergent. I, I think you're supposed to do this. Anyways, I put the purge in there and just turn it on. Let's do, I think I want to put it on. I'm just going to put it on normal. Yep. Hello, my superstars. It's me, Rovera. How is everybody doing right now? I bet everybody is doing great because I feel great. I'm really excited about today. Talking about artists of the video. Okay, I think that was too lame. I'm trying to figure out something super cool like a drum roll or something. You know, I don't know. But um, so, artist of the video is Julia Toma. Now. Toma is an artist who created this illustration right here, as you guys can see. And just by looking at this, what do you guys think? It's me. I was at my boyfriend's studio. And he was on his Instagram, and he looked at this illustration, and he was like, Oh my God, somebody painted you. And I was going crazy, and I, and, and I, I like DM'd the person who posted it. I was like, Oh my gosh, I want to buy this illustration. Who is the artist? How much? She still hasn't hit me up yet. She will reply back to that message. And um, I, I, I got on the Instagram. I started looking for more information because I was really excited. Like, it looks just like me. You guys, you guys already see the picture. I actually own those pants and that shirt. And my face and hair is on me. <laughs> like, it's it's flipping crazy because when I wore that outfit, I was thinking about wearing them with those shoes, but the only bad thing is that I wasn't thinking, I don't have those shoes. I really wanted those shoes. 
so bad with that outfit. I was like, oh, I wish I had these shoes. Like, I was even looking. I think I was on that day that I wore it. I was created an illustration. Like, our minds were connected. But my boyfriend, um, four years ago, he painted a picture of his brother. Just so you know, he didn't know it was his brother, and his brother didn't look like that picture four years ago. He created it and painted it. He had a beard, glasses, and his hair was all like the same. There wasn't no color or anything. It was like a red, blue, and yellow. It was an abstract piece of his brother. Four years later, we look back into it, and everybody's like, man, that's your brother, that's your brother, that's your brother. His brother, four years ago, didn't have glasses and didn't have a beard yet. His adolescence, after he grew up, started growing up, and now he's way older, he has those things. And if you look at that picture and his brother, they look exactly the same. And then my um, boyfriend's friend, my friend too, Sam Watson, he created a of this person that he doesn't even know and then sooner or later he went to an art show I think it was an art show and um, he found the guy and they even took a picture together he was like whoa this is so freaking weird and it's like if you're an artist you have like a amazing talent when artists create pictures paintings they create these things of people that they don't even know that they actually exist in the world somewhere. It could be in the United States, it could be in Africa, it can be in Hawaii, it can be in Tokyo, it can be in Russia, they can be anywhere in the world. And the funny thing is, there's only one person out there that looks like that. And you illustrated every detail about that person. Now that's freaking cool. I did some more research on the illustration and I found out she made that illustration due to a story that was written from another author, a different writer. And um, the writer was writing a story about her phobia that she has a fish. That's why there's a big fish. And it's like the illustrator didn't even, like the person, the artist who created it didn't even create her image in that picture. It was a complete story. It's like a made up story of a girl with phobia. I think it's a book, I think, I believe it's a book that she wrote and a couple pages of that book was reviewed on, in an article. And so it's like this made up character and it's just super cool. It made me so happy that this, per this character that's in a book looks just like me. So I don't know. Call it weird. Tama, you're awesome. I love that photo. I, I want to hold it. I want to put it on my wall. I want to own it. It's mine. <laughs> I'll leave you guys the article, her website, and her Instagram. All her information below. She's so freaking cool. The only thing is, I've never spoken with her. I've never looked at her. I don't even, I can't find her anywhere but her website and her Instagram account. It's amazing and beautiful that artists have these gifts of creating period thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe also leave a comment below I would love to hear who is watching tell me your name tell me tell me your favorite color just tell me something about you in the comment below so I get to know you guys much better goodbye superstars thank you so much for watching this video and give Julia Tama a little look <laughs> bye